Okay, we just put in the countertops. I went and picked up this Mullen Adler 87233 SRS for a uh, faucet. So let's open that up and check it out. Here's the installation tool it comes with, very handy. This is the underneath mounting hardware. It is the uh, lowest priced um, faucet with this look that uh, this store had. Look at that, it comes with a nice sticker. Oh, neat. Keep for your records. Place on the supply line. Huh. That way you know what you've got. And this is just the nozzle at the top. All right. This, these are the supply lines. So these will connect to the wall. And this is the uh, weighted, um, hose that comes out for the faucet. It's one of those retractable ones. So I like this one because it's kind of shorter. This condo, there's not a lot of room. So the height of this one actually looks pretty good. I'm gonna drop it in place and we'll take a look at that. Okay, so it's just uh, set in place there, but I really like that look. It's really clean, really easy. It's a single sink faucet. Gonna work out really well. It does have, uh, like I said, it's got the the hose and the nozzle, and you can do the spray or whatever you need. It's got that little activator switch. Anyways, I'll put that all together. Another option it does have is this uh, backing plate. I don't know anyone that really uses these anymore. Um, that's kind of more to cover up the extra holes from the three piece. So that would go under there like that. Or you can just toss it. That's a much cleaner look. So we'll put it together, see how it goes. I really need to bring a tripod or something out to Hawaii. Okay, so take that little protective cover off. And here's your hose that was all coiled up. You got the shiny end with the swivel here. This is going to go here, okay? I'll get that started real quick. Very simple. I'm only gonna go finger tight. It doesn't need to be cranked, obviously. Let's see if I can do it this way, lean it against my belly. So that's finger tight. And now this is the, basically the wand mode, right? Now you take the other end of your hose. Whew, sorry about that. If that doesn't make you sick, I don't know what will. Take the other end and you're just going to slide it into the faucet there. And it's going to come out that copper looking pipe, which is not actually copper. There it is. Okay, so at this point I can just pull this through. So that's the look of the faucet when it's assembled. Not too shabby. <clears throat> okay, now what we do, I'm gonna set the faucet into place. Um, the mounting hardware is right here. Got a few items. So this is going to go inside, I'll just do it. That hose that we just put in, connects like that. There goes my little tool. It's a two-hander, it's killing me. Okay, here's a little plastic soft, uh, silicone-like washer. That's going to go 
rib side up. Attach all of these hoses. We're here. <laughs> one handed. Maybe I should start making videos like how to do anything one handed, single handed. Um, that might be entertaining. That's just going to sit there like that, okay? Now I'm going to drop the faucet into the hole. To get all these hoses in there, it's going to take some manipulation to get everything to line up. This one specifically, um, it's not terribly, terribly easy because it's a little jacked uh, with that deal. It's got that tiny hole, but it is doable. Okay. Something you might want to do is pull this one out that's got the faucet head on it, and it's just one less thing you have to mess with. But it's also way down in there, so not a big deal. Okay, like I just said, one thing you'll probably want to do, the faucet itself, I pulled it, retracted it all the way up. Otherwise, there's no way all of this is going to fit down in the hole there. It's pretty tight as is. And now that it's in there, got to untwist everything. Oh, come on. <laughs> Anyways, I got to untwist that two hands again. Okay, once you have it all untwisted, you can set it in there nice and easy like. And there you have it. Now we can run this back through. Take note of these, uh, the yellow tape here. That's where your little weight's going to go to keep make it retractable. But that's adjustable, so keep that in mind. If you have one of these faucets, that doesn't retract all the way, like it hangs like that. You can go underneath the sink and adjust your weight. These typically have just a little clip like this. Pop it open like that. And you can slide this weight further up the hose. And then if it's further up the hose, it's gonna pull down harder and pull your faucet all the way up, okay? So that is adjustable if you have a faucet that doesn't retract all the way. Keep that in mind. Now I'm gonna go underneath. This piece goes on next, and then I can put on these. All right, so uh, they're trying to service the air conditioner. That's who is knocking on the door. Underneath, I'm gonna slide this up, put on this nut, which is the metal one. Then after the metal one, I can do this finger knurled nut. And then this is the tightening tool, just crank it tight. You can slide a screwdriver in there for leverage, but really, you don't need to crank it super tight on these. Okay, it's definitely gonna take two hands. This one is going to go on this hose through that. And then these hoses, are, the supply lines, are going to sit like this, okay? Um, and then we're going to put our uh, little nut on to hold it together. It's going to take both hands, so I'm going to set it on and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I've pushed the hose through. That way I can get my little uh, plastic tool that they give you onto it. Um, that's basically what it's going to look like for now. As I tighten that, that uh, little metal plate goes up against the sub subframe plywood, and then this nut tightens it up to hold the faucet in place. It takes both hands to do, like everything installing a faucet. Uh, so I'll go ahead and do that and show you when it's finished. Okay, here's that handy little tool. It just slides up like this and you can turn it to tighten, okay? When you get to where it's tight, I'll show you where a second person is really, really helpful when doing this. Okay, when tightening underneath, if you don't have someone up here to hold this top, this is gonna spin around and you'll get it tightened like that. You need this to stay in place, right? So it's not crooked. Um, I'm gonna reach up through 
the drain hole and hold it in place while I tighten underneath. Um, obviously this is going to turn, but you don't want the base to turn, okay? So have your assistant or kid or whoever hold this, the base, while you tighten the bottom. Or if you can, reach up through here and hold. That works too. Okay, a little bit of cranking. I've got my base tightened, so that's on. Now I'm just gonna feed this hose through. And remember we talked about setting the weight so you don't have a floppy nozzle. Nothing worse than a floppy nozzle, right? Nobody likes that. So the weight I've got right here, we're gonna go down below the sink and install that weight. Okay, so there's our uh, nozzle in and tightened. This is just a, uh, the plastic one is just a guide to keep this from, this hose from snagging, right? So that's all it does, just so you know you don't crank it on uh, all the way tight. Okay, so now when you're ready to uh, put this hose, the pull down hose, this, um, these are the supplies. This one is the one that goes to the faucet. It just attaches into this. To do that, you pull this tip off, the protective tip, right? Set that aside and you just press it in and you hear that click. That's it, you give it a little tug and that's sealed. Okay, now for the weight. This one could turn into be a little bit of an issue for me because the supply lines are here. Everything is directly in line with these. Um, so once it's all put together, we'll see how it goes. But for now, I'm going to open the weight just like that. It's got these nice little pads. Here's our uh, yellow mark, and I'm just gonna set it on the downside of the yellow. Press it to fit, and it's on, okay. So now, you can see that weight just pulls down. Let me get back here. Here we go. So when you pull the faucet, it goes like this, you're running it, you're working it how you like, when you let it go, that weight will pull it down. Do you see what I mean by I might have some issues with that, uh, the cold water side? When this comes back, it's just kind of bumps into that. But anyways, there's your faucet. So remember if you have a faucet that's kind of maladjusted like that, one of these pull faucets and it's not retracting it all the way, all you have to do is come down and adjust this weight, move the weight up or down. If the weight were all the way down here, it wouldn't have enough down force to retract the faucet. And then you'd have that look. Nobody wants that. Nobody wants floppy tip. Okay, so back to these. We've got a hot side. I can feel, I can't even see, but that's the hot and the cold is right here so these have uh, little rubber seals inside little o-rings so they don't need that teflon tape that's there from the old ones what i am going to do is i'm going to coil them something like that so they're out of the way of our uh, main hose and once they're tightened that should hold there, that one's finger tight pretty good. You can just move that right up like that. This one, I'm gonna do the same. So it's way out of the way. Come on now. And I'm gonna have to run to Home Depot to buy the drain and the P-trap kit. I'm doing Home Depot because I'm in Hawaii. It takes too long to get Amazon stuff here. But if you're wondering, there's going to be a link below for the faucet 
and a P-trap kit, which is pretty universal. All right, so these are finger tight. That's good. I don't have a drain. The faucet's off. Let's check this out. It's kind of nerve-wracking. I've got a, a uh, bucket, but it's obviously not in place right now. Okay, that one worked. That one worked. Got no drips. So that's good news. Let me get my bucket. All right, got the bucket in the sink. First start up here. Get rid of all the air. Hot and cold air. Nice little action. Super easy to use. I like that. That's cool. Um, yeah, there you have it. That is the Moen Plus, whatever fancy name of faucet. Thanks for watching. Next project, we're going to put in a drain. That way we can actually use the sink.